And welcome back to Splattercats LP of Dead Space. In our episode now, we actually had acquired some poison. We've headed off into the hydroponic slash botanical area, and we were on a quest for Bud, and also for air. But Bud would be nice, but mostly air. So I see a little item over there, and I'm going to grab it. 1,700 credits, and my breadcrumbs say they want me to go into hydroponics control. So we're going to go in, we're going to take a look around, and it looks like this is another... Oxygenless area, which means one of those farty monster things is probably in here. Isaac, make us whole again. And my wife's strange psychic control over the ship is becoming a bit terrifying. And I luckily turned around just in time, and two of these breeders came out. And our health is low, and we've got three single bar health kits in our inventory, so I'm gonna use those real fast. Get myself patched up. There's no point carrying weak health kits around. They really don't do that much for me. There we are. We're at full health. Lock and load here. And I think that's all we needed from this room. I am gonna take a look around. We've got a locker here. With some more pulse rounds, which I never have a problem laying down the DACA, so... I'm glad that there's more bullets so that I can do so, and there's nothing over here. Nothing in here, looks like. Alright, so let's get out of here. Now, where does it want me to go now? Take a look. It wants me to go across the way, I think. Alright. Into Refrigeration West. So it's about to get icy up in here. And let's see what we got going on. What in the hell is that? So apparently, <laughs> it's a creature with some kind of like cancerous growth on its arm. However, they seem to be quite explosive. Hopefully there's none behind me. I really hope there's not. There does not seem to be, which is good, because I hate it when these things try and sneak up from behind me. Squiggles especially, but just about anything that wants to do me harm, I would prefer for it to be in the front of my periphery. So, we're going to confirm gravity boot, function, and sink rig. So it looks like we're about to lose some gravity here. Oh my. We have... Lots of floating limbs. Things apparently are not going well in this af in this area of the ship. But what area are things going well in here? So, Entering zero gravity. and froggies like to hang out in this area. It looks like we've got spikies all over the place. I'm going to shoot that box open, grab the freebie ammo before kind of looking around. Looks like in some respect I can open that. Oh, and babies. Now we had that birth list, and I don't think it was as long as the amount of babies we've been fighting. So maybe they found like a locker with some surplus babies up in here. That would be my suspicion given how many of these little buggers were stomping out. I'm gonna make... oops. There we are. So our directionality has changed, just taking a look around, seeing if... Alright, so we're going to open that hatch. And looking around... Huh. Well, I was able to grab a bit of that baby and throw it. But once again, that's one of those... I really need to stop pressing the wrong key so it doesn't want to let me in there. So I'm going to jump to the ceiling and we're going to see what we can do. That's going to help us rotate. Oh, and I see no way for this to end well. Oh, there it is. And that's always the worst when you have no visual on the little buggers. So... I don't know really what to make a leap to here. But then again, it's a little strange how they control gravity like that. But also awesome. 
extreme heat in the air, air filtration room here. So we're going to keep an eye out for flames and other general emissions that we want to avoid. We've got a treasure chest with some more contact energy. The contact energy to me feels a bit risky because every time I try and use it I get overwhelmed, but they really are sty they're they're trying to give me a lot of contact energy. So looking around the room here, I'm gonna breadcrumb it up and see where I should be at. I've got an audio log. Hello? Hello, security? Thank God. This is Dr. Cross in hydroponics. I'm trying to locate second engineer Jacob Temple. I can't get through to engineering. Of course I know there's a shipwide medical alert. That's why I'm trying to locate him. No, we're safe for now, but the tram is down and we can't reach the escape pods. Hello? Hello? And another one goes down. And I just saw that as a reflex. I'm going to shoot at it, and I, I'm terrified to walk into this room right now. Giant fiery death emissions tend to be something that I find to be deplorable, at least to my physique. I'm going to shoot that door off. And oh Christ, we're just going to make a run for it. Open door, open, 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 open. Oh no! A runner! We've got plenty of oxygen. I'm going to kill that farty monster. And there's some more contact energy. I am going to take a look around just in case because they like to hide little things up in the rafters and stuff all the time. When you're not paying attention, you're trying to run around. I don't see anything though, so I'm just going to continue up to the next floor. I'm going to switch over to the emissions cannon. Because it's disappointing how little I get to use this thing. If only the giant charge up time was not such a hindrance, I would use it more, but what can you do? Maybe I can upgrade its charge speed at some point with nodes. I should probably look into that. Hey, speaking of, there's another node. Something I will never turn down. And further machine gun ammo. And a medium med kit, which we can't carry with us. Unfortunate, but we are locked and loaded. So it wants me to go back out this way. Oh, I missed a hallway entirely. And the exit to West Grow Chamber. Excellent. So just one last look to make sure this is where I want to be. Alrighty. And down we go. Is this thing even moving? Huh. Figures. All the Ishimura, I got a broke elevator. No, the shadows are moving upwards, so I think we are indeed moving. It's just taking its sweet time. It is a lazy elevator. It needs motivation. Motivate yourself, elevator! Warning. Ten kiloton mass detected in food storage. Huh. It got revenge on me by reminding me that it's in charge. This is quite an elevator. I'm gonna try and put rounds on that thing's head and hopefully it doesn't burst. Looks like it didn't. We're gonna do a drive by or a walk by baby blasting. There we are. Several more babies incapacitated. And I'm beginning to think all this talk of baby slaughter might be unnerving my roommate who at this point must think that I just play the most psychotic versions of video games ever. Now, we're going to follow our breadcrumb and make sure we're going the right place. I am reloaded, correct? Yes. All right. Ooh. Oh, man, they're going to pop through these vents, aren't they? Oh, I don't like this. I don't like this at all. Flee! Run away. Hide. Hmm. Well, those explosions seem awfully ancillary in lieu of the fact that nothing came out. 
Now part of me wonder is wondering, a lot of the things in these rooms here were locked the last time I came through, so I kind of want to check it out and make sure nothing has unlocked itself. We do have our bench here, and I kind of want to play around and see if I can upgrade this cannon at all, because I do enjoy having it with me. The contact beam has been... Hmm. The charge nodes are pretty deep down the chain. I don't know if it's necessarily frugal with my nodes to go so deeply into one weapon. Let me in! I want to get steamed! That would be the ironic end of my journey. I spent my entire time running through a ship full of mutants and then a steaming pipe takes me out. Oh... The epitaph, I tell you what. What does it want me to do here? Alright, so I'm gonna do some general inventory work real fast. And now that I'm back on point, we're gonna go ahead and follow our breadcrumbs a little further and see where it lands us. I'm willing, I'm, I'm suspicious. I'm very suspicious that it is probably not going to put us in a better situation. Since when have we ever landed in a better situation on the Ishimura? Were there this many bodies before? I feel like the bodies have multiplied. Maybe it's just my head messing with me. Move, bodies. My name is Isaac Clark, and I have work to do. I have no time for you to be blocking my path, dead bodies. Now hopefully, we've already wandered past these little pustules before. Hopefully this will be the last time. And I'm, I'm really hoping we can get the air cleared up here, because if there's one thing in life that I really enjoy doing, it's breathing air. Like, if you had to pick, like, several things from life that you enjoy doing that are also vital to your own survival, I do not doubt that oxygen breathitude would be high up on the list. Now, where does it want me to go here? It wants me to take this elevator. So I guess we'll go floor by floor for now, if I can manage the controls. And I guess I'll go up to floor two with my contact beam ready to roll. Anything? Anybody? Anybody want to get frosty? I guess not. Looks like we've got another audio log. Hydroponics log, Dr. Cross reporting. Something huge just slammed into the hole near food storage. It wasn't a rogue asteroid. I know what that sounds like. But it was big and heavy. I'll report again when I know more. I'm just gonna go ahead and assume there's nothing for us on this lair and keep moving. Ah, there's one of our little breathy dudes. Our farty monsters. We'll take him out with reckless abandon. Without concern for the consequences from his kinsmen. Now, I guess we'll go down to floor two and see where it wants us to go from here. I guess we're going back down. Okay, now we initiate the feeding system. down in there. Okay. So we've got to figure out some way to get at him. Of all the farty monsters, he was the most clever. I can't believe I didn't see him from right here. He was just out of the way. So let's go ahead and initiate that. Let's see if we can get some rounds on this little bugger. Replacing nutrient that. Let me see if I can manage to run around. Oh, I wonder if I can stasis it. Let's try that. Let's stasis this bad boy. 
I didn't even think about that as an option. Replacing nutrient light. There we go. Now we're gonna run around and see what we can do. All right. So the problem is solved now. We killed that little guy off. Not that big guy. And now, do we have to do anything else? We have to go back up. So we're doing a lot of elevator riding. This part of the game is... a little less inspired than the rest of it. Ride this elevator. Up and down. Enjoy yourself. We are EA. We command it. Alright, so we're gonna go this way. We're now going to Refrigeration East. I'm thinking this is probably a good time to break off the Let's Play. My name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me here this evening, and I will see you in future episodes. Take care out there, everybody.